Good afternoon. With a quorum being present, I will call this meeting of the Youth Advisory Council to order at 3 p.m. If you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, could we get a roll call, please? Ed Simchak. Present. Katie Topier. Topier. <laughs> Ryan Raffles. Present. Skylar Castars is not here. Anthony Scaramucci. Present. Marley Hook. Present. Taylor Eason. Present. Thank you. Um, are there any modifications to the agenda? Anyone has anything to bring up? Okay. And we have some unfinished business from last time. We had discussed at the last meeting about letters that I believe was suggested by the vice mayor to about efforts to protect the Indian River Lagoon and putting it in school newsletters. Um, has anybody drafted a letter for that or want to draft a letter for that? Someone that's good with writing? I will. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, the big thing. <laughs> the last meeting, we had discussed a youth festival of sorts at Riverview Park. Um, and we need to hammer out details for that. Um, I had talked to Mrs. Mayo, and she had said to bring up that uh, my concern that it would be difficult to plan in one meeting and what we could do about that, um, since the next meeting is months ahead, if, if there's anything we could do about that. I don't, I don't think I'm following. I'm sorry. I'm older, so I'm slower. <laughs> So uh, uh, would you catch me up again? And, and uh, the pronunciation of Sally's name is Mayo. So oh, okay. sure we want to, that's okay. But. Um, I was just saying it would be difficult to plan out the entire festival at one sitting in one meeting. And she had asked me to bring that up to you if oh, there okay. was anything we could do about that. I, I remember now. I'm sorry. Um, if I, I could add some, what, what might be an option for the committee would be to have a workshop, okay? And then you would be able to come in here and speak freely amongst each other's, uh, each other. We could do that, <coughs> we could do that here, or we could do that um, upstairs in the conference room. We can record it. So uh, that's an option where you could really get into the planning and work things out amongst you with, without violating any sunshine things and, and all those things. So that would be a suggestion. The other thing would be to individually um, kind of get some, some folks together to come in and give testimony about how they could volunteer for this and form a subcommittee and they could work on it. So, I mean, you have that range of of, of possibilities, there's other possibilities that I haven't thought of, obviously, I'm sure, so. But that would be up to the committee. Okay, um, are there any ideas of how we wanna go about doing this? The uh, workshop sounded good in my opinion, but. I feel that it's like, we all should just get together on, um, like and have a conference or something, because if one person says something, then one person's gonna, another person's gonna wanna edit it and might as well just get it all done together. Okay. 
um, is there a good time that we could have that? Is there like a specific day that would be good for that? Or uh, I would I would suggest that you arrange it, maybe sooner the better. Um, there, uh, when do y'all go on um, Christmas break? Maybe that might be something that uh, that you could arrange then when everyone would be off, um, uh, and and ask for this workshop. The other thing would be to that, you know, the public would be invited to this, so you could invite other students and and you could get their input. So I. I mean, I'm, uh, it depends on what, what, what date you all want to set. It's, um, it will try to accommodate it as, much, as, as best we can. Now, now uh, Ms. Mayo, she handles the, um, as the city clerk, she handles all the scheduling for this, this room. So that would be something that perhaps the committee could get a range of dates and then the chairman could take that to Ms. Mayo uh, to uh, give her those, those, that range of dates, uh, two or three dates, and then could work around that depending on her schedule of what the schedule is for uh, this room. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, does anybody happen to know, I know I probably should know, when our winter break is? Normally the Christmas breaks start around two weeks before Christmas, but I think the county has been shortening it to like maybe one week. Okay. Um. Break starts the 21st is the first day of break and ends like the week after the new year. Okay. Um. The only thing that I would think is a lot of people are probably going to be away um, that week. Maybe if we did it the week after Christmas. Mr. Um, Chairman? Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, i just been informed that these council chambers will not be available the tw from December 21st to uh, January 31st, or uh, December 31st, excuse me. But okay. we could use the conference room on the second deck. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be broadcast, but we'd, we can record it. So if that would help you out. Okay. Uh, another thing, uh, I've asked uh, Officer Ashley Penn to join us today, and I'll get to the reason, real reason why she's here later, but I'd like to ask that maybe she could provide some input for this. Ashley? First of all, do you guys have an idea of what kind of festival or party you're planning? Uh, that's what we're trying to Because if you out. have a little bit more of an idea of what you want to do, you'll have a little bit more of an idea of your time frame. And also, um, like, is it just going to be for the youth or is it going to be a whole, a whole family event? Um, then you can also remember you guys are off for a whole week next week if there's anything you guys can do to get together that week take advantage of that time as well um, and if you guys come up with maybe one lead person who can handle the festival and then maybe come up with at each of your schools find um, other people who can help out and maybe even do a whole group meeting with those people like like was suggested that might help you a little more because if you get more ideas from other people, maybe things can get moving faster and other parents can also help with resources you may need. Does that help at all? Mm-hmm. Um, if we met next week, that would be a bit short notice to go and get people at school this week to... No, I, I, but I'm talking about for, for you guys maybe to get a better idea if you don't have time today and then maybe come okay. up with something at, at the school for December. Okay, okay. Do we want to meet next week sometime and have a workshop? Um, well, maybe we could get to get, well, instead of a workshop, um, 
So there's this thing called Google Docs. If we go on Google Docs, there's a share. You can, if we can get emails together, we can share it and discuss it among ourselves and then send it to the council if they wish to record it. Just an idea. Is that in correspondence with Sunshine, the email? I The general public has to be able to come to join in the discussion. That's part of the Sunshine Law. Can the general public get into Google Dot? They have to have a computer and stuff, so. But are you just, is it just for planning purposes? Um, yes. Oh, okay. I do not know if the government can get in there, if that's what you're asking. The, the thing about that is going to be anything that you plan on sharing between each other, you also need to share with your board liaisons. That way, which would be Joe or whoever he designates. That way we can keep a copy of what's going on uh, for public records. So if anybody asks, we just have to have the access to those documents, okay? So you would share it with us through Google Docs? Yes. Okay. I kind of feel that it would just be easier to get to just get us all here at once and get it all done and just have like a mini conference about it. Okay. Um, and did we want to do that next week? Um, I think next week would be better because um, a lot of people might be on break during December. Mm -hmm. and I think that would be best. And I'm not going to be here though during the week. I'm gonna be in Tampa or Sarasota. So it'd be better if it was during the week. Seeing as all of our normal meetings are mostly on Wednesdays, maybe we can meet together next Wednesday. Okay, could we get the the uh, conference room next Wednesday? There, there's a bid opening at 2 p.m. And um, would that go past the three? Three would be open next week. We want to do three o'clock in the conference room next week. That sounds good. Okay. Agreed. Okay, then I'll save this for next week. And next thing, um, update by the staff on Anthony's presentation on the road safety concerns. I'm gonna allow the um, city engineer to handle this. Again, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Frank Watanabe, the city engineer. I uh, just want to highlight there are three items that were discussed at the last uh, presentation to the city council. I uh, just want to highlight on the first one that was regarding the uh, uh, issue regarding uh, uh, on Road 512 uh, at Louisiana Street. That that intersection, that area is all within the county uh, right away. We have no jurisdictions, but I've notified the county and they're aware of the concerns uh, for the first item. On the second item regarding, uh, there was, it was mainly the uh, location on Barber Street near the uh, uh, Tulip over there by the daycare. There, there were issues regarding a mid-block crossing. Uh, to highlight, uh, mid-block mid -block crossings are not really recommended. Uh, it gives pedestrians a false sense of security. You typically want to put a crosswalk or any kind of a crosswalk at, a, at, a, at an intersection where you can stripe it, make it safe. Uh, we are looking at that at Tulip. Uh, there is, we know of a lot of activities of people crossing at that location, so we're looking at that to install a crosswalk at uh, uh, Tulip at Barber Street. We're also looking at additional signage. The signage recommended was uh, a children at play. Uh, engineering practice now is not to put that sign up. Children at play states that it's okay to play in the streets, and that's a, an information that we don't want to pass out. You know, the streets are for, for vehicles. Uh, so engineering practice now is not to put up that sign anymore. Uh, but there are other signs we can put up uh, to alert motorists of pedestrians and crossings. So we're looking at that as well. 
Uh, and then the last item is over there off of County Road 512 at Roseland. Uh, those concerned regarding the trees and site distance. Uh, that is also within this, the county's right away, but based on the safety need, because we, we realize it is a safety concern, we went out there, Public Works went out there, and we trimmed, we actually cut down four trees. So if you go out there now, there's plenty of site distance. So we took care of that item. And I think that addresses all three of your concerns. Thank you. Okay. Did, um, did they talk about the, the um, at the turn into the plaza up on up on in Roseland off US one. That, uh, that's county, obviously. This is regarding the the, the transit services or no, the um, the signage and the um, trees that are there turning into the uh, plaza off US one northbound uh, going into the public's plaza and Ro on Roseland. It wasn't on the email list that I saw. Uh, well, I think Anthony brought that up in one of the, in the presentation, and actually I made that call to the county, and now we've seen lately where there, the sign Rosalind next right, that has been, there's something going on there. The sign came down, somebody hit it, something, but. Uh, oh, yeah, th that location, the one the city manager is talking about on US 1, if you're hitting uh, northbound, the existing sign, is, the is informational sign has been hit, it's on, kind of like on its tilter. Uh, I've also notified, that's actually an FDOT corridor, uh, and I've notified FDOT regarding that intersection, as well as any trees and site distance. Uh, the problem with FDOT is we're so far away from their corporate office. You know, their main district uh, four office is down there in Fort Lauderdale. They have a sub office up here in Fort Pierce that we work with, uh, and so we've, we've contacted them to see if they could do something. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Okay. Um, is there any uh, input from the public, from the audience? No? Okay. And the new business would be to approve the minutes from our last meeting. Um, Does, does everyone have a copy of those? Okay. I would move to approve them. Can I have a second? I second it. Okay. Then I will sign on the line. Okay. Staff matters. Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to um, request a change to some of the logistics of, of the way your meetings are, are conducted. Um, on my left is uh, Officer Ashley Penn. She's one of Sebastian Police Department's finest, and she's also a school resource officer. Uh, she has actually volunteered to be your liaison, and she would sit in, in my position uh, at future meetings. Uh, the chief of police, Michelle Morris, has uh, endorsed this. Uh, there is one problem with that, and that's that uh, she has some responsibilities around the 3 o'clock hour, 3.30, something like that. So uh, I'm asking, or I'm requesting that uh, Officer Penn be installed as your liaison, and she will report to the chief and also to me with uh, issues that you might have. And I'd also ask that your meetings uh, from now on start at 4 p.m. to accommodate uh, Officer, Officer Penn being here on time to be your liaison. Okay. Um, I think I should be good with that. Does anybody have a problem with four? Okay. Do I make motion? I would move to accept his 
request. I second that. Okay. Yes. Would next meeting be at four next Wednesday? I, I'm okay with three, so three for next week. Yeah. For okay. Next okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And um, since it, since now Officer Penn is part of staff here, do, do you have any comments that you'd like to make to the committee? Putting you on the spot. I'm glad I could be a part of this opportunity. I'm. Uh, I've known a couple of you from class when I've had you neither dare or great, and I'm. I'm definitely proud of all of you for being here, and uh, hopefully in the future for our next meetings we can definitely come up with some uh, different ideas for things that need to be done in the city to help not only the city, but you guys as well. So um, whatever you guys need, as far as me being the liaison, just let me know and we can definitely work things out. Okay, thank you. Board or committee member matters. I would like to say something to my fellow committee members. We were put on this board to make a difference in the community. We can, um, as, as I did, I found some problems in the area and brought them to the council. That's what we all should be doing because that's why we're here. We're here to help and change everybody and make this town better. Okay, thank you, I agree with that. I agree. Anything else from anybody? Okay. Okay, the next meeting, the suggested dates would be February 10th or 24th of next year, now at 4 p.m. doesn't go to the next year. <laughs> um, are they, I assume those are both Wednesdays. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, what was that? I said I assume those are both Wednesdays, the 10th yes. and the 24th. Um, so it's basically a matter of do we want to, eat, do we want to meet earlier or later in the month? I think we should um, meet earlier in the month, the 10th. Does everybody agree on that? I think that we should do the tenth. Okay. I agree with that as well. So can we make the next meeting February 10th, 2016 at 4 p.m.? Well. Okay, thank you. It says agenda items also. Anything you guys want to discuss? I don't think I have anything. Yeah. Um, for the festival, where would we get the funds to support everything that we plan to do? Um, <laughs> that is something that I had not considered. <laughs> Have you thought of any fundraising events that you guys could possibly do maybe at the schools or out and about with different businesses? And also, if you guys do fundraising out at the businesses, it's an opportunity for our city, as far as the business members, to see that you guys have a youth advisory board and to know that you guys are working with the city to make things better. So if you, if you do come up with some kind of fundraising idea, I'd suggest making some sort of flyer that explains what exactly you're doing and why to help you guys out. I have an idea. There's like um, this one night in, uh, it's on US1 when all the businesses open up and like they all, I don't know, I don't remember what it's called, but we should send up, set up like a little tent or something and say what we're about and say our ideas. Okay, um, 
is this probably something that we'd want to discuss more next week, like to get more into the detail of it? That should be really discussed during the conference next week, if anything, so that we could get into details and all that. Yeah, I agree with that. that I, I believe you guys are talking about the Light Up Sebastian night. Light Up night. Light Up night. It's going to... Sponsored by the chamber. Yeah, sp sponsored by the chamber. I, it's going to be December 4th, so you're going to have to come up with something quickly <laughs> so you can get the flyers out there. Okay. Um, if we talk about it more in detail when we meet next week, I, I can come up with flyers and stuff like that to uh, distribute. Sound like a plan? Sounds good. Okay. Agreed. Is there anything else anyone would like to discuss? Um, there's one thing that I noticed. Um, it's at the local baseball field, and I have a picture of it. And um, it's at the baseball fields. They're, the batting cages are completely concrete, and it really ruins them. Also, with your shoes, it can wear them down and all that. And I brought that up because I know that it can ruin the baseballs and all of that. And also, it would be best if there was artificial turf on there. Because I know how much um, it can ruin the equipment with the concrete and all of that. And I have a picture if you'd like to see that. I'll get with the uh, with the parks people and our and our public works director, and we'll talk about this, and they'll report to you at your February report back to you at your uh, February meeting. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay then. I believe that is all that we have. For this meeting, so I move to adjourn. Can I get a second? I'll second that. Okay. Then I will adjourn this meeting. <laughs>